this thing on. And there we go. Oh, hello, ladies and germs. Yes, this is another position in my YouTube room. I changed everything around. I did not realize that was going to happen right here. And that, that's annoying, isn't it? Yes. That is very, very annoying. Okay, let's see if we can do that. And behind me, oh, there's reflection everywhere. I did not realize that. Anyway, hi. I did a little changey change. You see all my collection. That's all my temptation wear, everything there. That's not even, no. I've got more on this side that you're not even seeing. Mm -hmm. And I have some on that side you're not seeing. No, I don't have an addiction. None at all. That's not what we're here. We're here to eat a uh, crab. Um, being a daughter of a fisherman, commercial, um, uh, independent commercial, not affiliated with any. I'm sorry, long-winded. I see all these people eating a Dungeness crab, and all I could think of is, oh, honey, I need to show you how we were raised to eat these things. Emphasize. It's a good excuse. Any excuse is a good excuse to eat crab meat. Come on. <laughs> so let's push you there. And let me go ahead and start my rice cooker. Okay. And there we go. So the rice is cooking. And you're going to see why. Now, first things first. I have a boy. That if you see the Washington Monument, you have a boy. If you see the state capitol, you have a girl. I'm always hoping for girls because they have the eggs. And I'm using my old stand. So I can already tell that's going to be an issue with people that have headsets on. So bear with me one moment. That down there. Here. Silence. Fabulous. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna rip off the apron. Yeah. Now you want to when you when you um dissect your crab, you want to go ahead and keep them upside down. That is one of the main problems I see people doing. And the reason is if you know, if you haven't eaten mussels, you have that that liquor, that, that muscle, that oyster liquor or that clam liquor that accumulates in the shell, you don't want to lose that. This has liquor. You want to keep it upside down so it would gather all in the shell. You've got a self-contained bowl right there. And that's why I'm cooking that rice because I put that rice in here. Oh, God. Oh, 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 oh. oh delightful. <laughs> now, of course, we're going to go ahead and start with them claws. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, look at that. Well, that can't be. Uh, not much, but okay, it's a start. Now, I don't do that. Uh, I don't do that clinking, you know, that crushing thing. My hands are not that good. So, we're going to get the nutcrackers. Um, and this is absolutely a crabbing set. Oh, look how beautiful that is. I've got my little trash bin right there. Come on, get out, get out. Don't, don't you fight with me. Don't you fight. Oh. And then I'm gonna dip it over here in a little bit of butter that I have on the side. Mmm. Oh dear God, of course. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, you wanna get one of these things. It comes with your cracker. And with this, you dig in there. You get all that meat. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm -hmm. Don't, don't you miss a bite. I'm sorry, I pay money for that. Mm-hmm, I'm going to get mine. Mm-hmm. Ooh, hang on, 
Hang on. And overboard. <laughs> now, you get your cracker. You get that little knuckle right there. Oh, yeah. We're going to get every ounce of meat out of this little fella. He would not have died in vain. Maybe in the arteries, but not the leg. <laughs> okay. There you go. Come on. Come on. Don't, don't mess with me. <laughs> this goes a lot faster when you're at a picnic table. But that's okay. And I need to put another piece of paper towel. That's empty. Oh, 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 oh. And then to the body you go. Mmm. 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 Mm. I had my bar. Mm hmm. I know it's a basket. I'm not into decorations. As long as it does what I need it to do, I'm good. <laughs> Alright, so now we got this little bugger going. Okay, it is good. Seven minutes in. So, if anyone is still here at this point, we got some uh, talking to do. Because there's a lot going on in the neighborhood. And if you've been at this channel for any length of time, you know I am a politically driven person. Oh, hang on a minute. Let me get this bite in there. Let me get that in. Uh huh. Uh. Mm 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 mm. Oh God, I'm Mm hmm. I like you. First off. Let me tell you something. About this Life Matters movement. No, I feel about it. Sit back, relax, and for all those that don't need a, that don't need a movement, feel lucky. Okay, a movement only happens when someone is being oppressed. Get off the damn net. Mm-hmm, I listen to that, yeah. You know, I understand all lives matter, okay? But right now, if somebody's house is on fire and we need to go and help them as a whole, as Americans, Enough with the division. Right now, so our brothers and sisters of skin tone need our help. Oh, dear God. <clears throat> we need to help them. Absolutely. Because that all lives matter. You don't need a movement. No one's hunting you. Relax. When you got to tell your little boy and your little girl, is this when you meet an officer? You need to do this. You need to do that. You don't make no sudden movements. So I was like, oh my God, are you serious? I tell you why. Mm. Because, oh, I'm eating and not dipping. Sorry. That stuff is good. Anyway. I was riding in the home from the club with one of my co-workers. And he made an unusually wide turn at an intersection. He got the... The whoop whoop in the back, you know, and we got pulled over. He got out the car. Not only did him and the police officer talk, they both went in the front seat together and talked some more. I don't know what the hell they were talking about. 
they were talking. He then, my friend, I know what Al's saying. Some of y'all already know. <laughs> mm -hmm. My friend came out of the car, walked back to our car, or his car, <laughs> that I was riding in, and we went home. Oh, I went to my home and he went to his home. But, yeah. And that was the whole thing. That was it. That is our... That was our, inter, you know, interaction with the police officer. That was it. I don't think I need... I don't need... An all lives matter. No one's trying to prosecute me with my skin color. Hell, I could hide behind my skin color. Shocker. Yeah. And I only knew at the time I come to find out that the person I thought was my friend was really a racist. I was like, uh-uh. And it broke my heart. Because we were friends for like years. And sometimes you gotta make a stand. Are you gonna tolerate this or you're gonna just tell them no this can't happen and not with you I mean unless other white people start chastising their white brothers and sisters I don't think it'll change honestly you need to acknowledge the sickness before you can cure it I mean, you act any, I mean, you don't even have to go very far, just ask anybody, um, any recovery program, and they tell you, you have to acknowledge the sickness before you can cure it, because you got to identify it, you know, we do, we need to identify it, and it's not us, no, no, um, all my light skin friends, you don't need this. Now, if you want to help, you can help. And oh my God. Other than that, sit down. Sit down, people. <laughs> we should do that. We should have a sit down. I remember we used to do sit downs. But anyway, that's one thing I want to talk about. We don't need a movement because we are not being hunted. And I do say hunted. Mm. Now, this is a little bit shocker of my normal programming. <laughs> I apologize. But uh, this has been weighing really heavy on my heart for a long time. I tried to make, I'm totally ignoring that but every night. I tried to make a video, but I ended up crying and getting hysterical. And I'm like, you know, this is not helping nobody. Sure the hell ain't helping me. I deleted it. One or two people saw it, but we know who we are. So, you know, I have a really tiny group, and I tend to keep it that way. I don't want people hating on me. I just want a place where everybody could just freely talk their feelings, political and otherwise without fear of retribution. I mean, I think that, oh, excuse me. Part of the problem, that's just me and you, is that we've gotten to a point where nobody's listening and everyone's yelling. And if that's the case, then no one's learning. We're just yelling. Um. Now, I 
another thing I really want to talk about before I forget. I'm going to probably be jumping all over this place, telling about different, my different opinions and stuff. And that's all right. You can have your opinion too and write it down there. If you think I'm wrong on anything, just, if you read my, if you read my page of what this room's about, be respectful, no cursing. Oh God, that's so good right there. Mm. And anyone can say basically anything they want. But don't threaten me. I'm gonna have to. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Yeah. I knew it. <laughs> At one time, um, someone didn't agree with me very passionately. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so. Me and you two have to take the appropriate steps. Please don't do that. That's not very nice. I want to keep people coming here. Um, the body is going to be the interesting part of where everyone's wasted. Wait till you get till we get there. There's a lot of goody goodies there. Anyway. Uh, what was it? Yeah, so I think it was either Monday or Tuesday. That uh, group was to put on the domestic terrorists, <laughs> which kind of tickled me because I know a, a group that needs to be on that list. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> I'm waiting. For this group to be on that list. Okay. But they're not going to be on that list. You know what anti-fascism means? It means that you can't use the military to force the citizens to follow the rules that you made up and that you want them to do it's not your toy box neither are people people are not commodities mm. Mm. And the concept of the group actually came out Oopsie, sorry about that. In the 1800s. I forgot exactly when. I want to say 1860s. You might want to look that up. I may be wrong, but it was actually the 1800s when it started, the concept of anti-fascism. Now, there was a small ideology and it is it's an idea it's not a group it's an idea and it became popular in around the 1920s 1929 to be exact is when it really took off because the American soldiers and the European soldiers was like, this should have never gotten that far. They were anti-fascism. So that means if you know any World War II veteran, they are Antifa. American veterans. Are Antifa. And they were just put on the terrorist list. Yeah. 
That makes a bunch of sense. So, as I say, <laughs> I wonder when the next uh, group's going to be put on there that needs to be. Now, ancient ideology, because there's no There's no um, address. There's no address to the place. It's not an organization. You don't have leaders. So who do you mail the cease and assist letters to? <laughs> you know? um, now, people that follow the Antifa beliefs and of what I read about it, it's just belief. Again, it is not an organization because they're not organized. It's just like a list of rules to it's not fair to do this, or it's not fair to do that, you know. Um, don't kill your citizens for your political optics. <laughs> then we're going to leave it alone. You know, getting back to that, that optic. The next day, the Episcopal Bishop of the Church of Presidents wanted to hold a visual and she was detained. She was not allowed to do so. Bad kitty, go. Nah. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. The cats. Ah. Hang on, guys. And the cat wanted to shell, so she tipped over the bucket, and I had to put the bucket back. I don't know what cats are made for other than catching mice. Anyway, sorry about the interruption. I was not going to sit here while she go ahead and start chomping on shells and she really has digestive issues. Mmm, mmm. Oh my god, that was so good. Mmm. Okay. Now, part two. And this is a good part. You want to open this, but you want to keep the shell down. And rip that body up. Can you see that? Can you see that? Uh-huh. And let all that stuff fall down. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. Oh, that looks so good. Okay, now you're going to hold it over your trash can. And you're going to rip off um, the gills. You don't need that. The gills are also referred to as dead man's fingers because they were kind of gray when a well sailors <laughs> we're gonna leave it at that well maybe I should tell you okay well I don't know how should I say this we're talking about everything so I might as well tell you this it looked like the fingers of a dead person when they died at sea of what I've been told. I've never seen one happen before. <laughs> but yeah, so that should be pretty clean. Now, let's go ahead and get this. Oh, okay. Yeah, we need to get all that. All that's the face part. Okay. 
That's all. You don't want to look at that. Don't look at that. But those are the mouth bits and the face parts and the... Come on, dang it. Yeah, you heard that crack. You can't eat that part, so you might as well get it out of there. Okay. So we got that out. And we got another paper towel. <laughs> I have gloves. I was going to put on gloves, but so much for that. <laughs> Alrighty, so we got this up. Now you got all your liquor, all your crab liquor is in there. I would show you, but then I'll lose it. And I, I ain't working this hard to lose it now. Mm -hmm. Now what you do, you get the body, you break it in two. Mm -hmm. Oh, crack shell. If you have a scissor, you could just go ahead and cut that in two. Okay, another finger. <laughs> and now you have all that meat in all those little crevices. And this is the part that drives me crazy because people let this part go. Oh mm, my God. Mm. And all this is lump crab. Mm-hmm. All of this lump crab. Let me get my little pick. Mm-hmm. Mm hi. So now you go ahead and you pick this out of here. Oh, and my rice is kind of long. Okay. Now may know we're talking on hot topics. Um, if you stood here this long, first off I want to thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my God, thank you so much. Um, but if anything I say is wrong, you correct me. You know, I am more up for learning. You know, I don't, I don't mind learning. I love learning. Um, it's when people stop learning that we get into trouble. Because you know, you know, you must know your history. I believe in that very, very, very much in learning. I don't care what it is, learn something. But anyway, what I wanted to talk about next was this um, little old man that was shoved over. You may have seen it. 75 years old. 75. And not just one. No, it wasn't enough for one of them to knock this man over. But two of them did. And he was actually conscious. If you look at that video closely, mm -mm, he was conscious for 10 seconds. Because if you count from the time he fell over, and you watch his right hand, because when he loses consciousness, he drops his phone. There's 10 seconds in between the fall and the phone. That man was alive and he felt that. He felt that pain. I'm sorry, you know what? I know that man been to war. I had, he had to been to war. And most likely people his age, unless there is something wrong with you, your butt's going to war. You went in the army and you went to war. Uh, and here these two people are, probably never been outside the country, never mind to war. And they say, probably. And they knocking this man down. Who might be a veteran? Uh, of who knows what war? I don't know. Maybe he didn't go to war. Maybe he was a doctor or something. We don't know. But the fact is, he is 75 years old. What are you thinking? And then what? Over 50 other officers 
resign because the two people that got that brutalized that man got suspended they weren't fired they were just suspended because they were you know what happens is you you try and throw someone a bone and maybe they're happy with the bone and they'll leave us to do our brutality over here uh-uh, uh-uh. That ain't gonna happen. You know what? If that's how you feel, I'm throwing a party when you ask, please. Because that means that you have no business being on the on the police force if that's your not if that's your if that's okay with you. If that's okay with you, you don't need to be on the police force. Uh-uh. So, your butt needs to go. And the uh, rest of, what was Boston? <laughs> yeah. And they, they need to have a party because that is 50 some odd, bru you know, cops that believe in brutalizing the citizens are now gone. Hey, great. Bye. Yeah. Uh, and the question came up, the question came up, well, what happened if there's no more police force yet? Okay, well, let's see. If there's no police force, what have they done up to now? <laughs> They've uh, assaulted people, hit them with batons, sprayed them with gas. Oh, yeah. So much law and order. Yeah. You can see I've been holding this in for a minute. <laughs> I just, um, absolute power corrupts, absolutely. Mm -hmm. It really does, it really does, people. So, how can you stop it? How can we stop it? Actually, it could be stopped in a few hours. It could be stopped in a few hours, but this president won't do it. But this is how it can be done. Now, I'm about to tell you how police brutality could be done overnight. It won't be eradicated. Because there's always people that's going to hate someone else for whatever reason. Oh, no. Okay. I hope that's cooking. I might have rice with this. I might not. I don't know yet. <laughs> I don't know if I did it right, people. Okay, so. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, I remember now. Police brutality and how to stop it. That could be done with a stroke of a pen. Uh, what you do is that hit them where it hurts. It's very simple. It can be done with an executive order. No fussing, no mussing. And it can be done. Oh, good. It's done. I was wondering when it was going to be done. And what it is, is that the president makes an executive order that any cop that is brutalized or use excessive force on the public will be denied federal funding. Hit him where it hurts. Hit him at the money. Take the money away. It's real simple. You want that nice happy toy in your in the police garage? All right, fine. Quit killing the civilians, especially the brown people. Because that's the ones that are being hunted right now. But what it is, is that by making that rule, it covers everybody. It covers everybody. No one's gonna be any more protected than anyone else. 
everyone's going to be protected. And if you, as a station, have someone that is brutalizing the civilians, you don't get federal funding. Now, I know that cops tend to move around to a new neighborhood and apply for the new precinct. Well, that needs to be resolved too. So we're gonna put your name in a database. And anyone who hires that cop with a record of being brutal to people will no longer receive federal funding. You see what's this going? <laughs> Now, you will, the police, no, no, I'm not going to interfere with the police. They will still be doing their internal investigation. But I think we should go, mm, oh, that was a good piece. Mm. Oh, my God, all the meat in here. You see all this meat I'm digging out of here. You see this? You see all that meat? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm getting ready to put rice with this. Oh, Lord, help us. <laughs> but anyway. Okay. So here we are. The cops are going over to the other station. They have a record. If that new station hires them, they lose their funding. Mm-hmm. And... No, I'm not talking about interfering with the police, like I was saying. They will still be able to do their own internal investigation. However, again, the president can make a new department. Mm -hmm. He can make a department. I don't care where he puts it. Put in the police, you know, um, DOD. I don't care. No, it's just DOJ. That's what I meant. Pick a department, put it in there. And this new department is going to oversee all the complaints. Okay, so they're going to see it and it's like, oh, you, you did an investigation on your own and you found that this cop did nothing wrong and should go back to work and get his money as usual. They're going to do their own investigation. Wet cloth. <laughs> Always good to have one handy. They do their own investigation. And if they find out that the police department failed to discipline properly, cop that brutalized civilians, they will lose funding. You can see <laughs> how this is going. Now, again, it's not going to resolve all, all problems. No, not by a long shot. And I guarantee you, it will be greatly, greatly reduced. All right, so I need to get my rice out of this cooker. Hang on a minute, guys. Okay. There we go. Okay, I just have to unplug it. Okay. So that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. That's all the stuff that's been going on and the feeling that I've been going through. I mean, it's just ideas um, about how to stop this. And like I said, that's all the president needs to do. That's it. Oh, I need a fork. I'm not picking that up. <laughs> 
Oh, come on, you. <laughs> oh, let's get some good rice in here. Oh, yeah. I got it. Oh, let's get some more rice in there. Let's put it on the outside because I see the outside is a little bit juicy, too. And we don't want to waste that. Oh, I should have gotten a rice paddle. You have more rice in here with a rice paddle. Yeah, I'm getting like one fork full at a time. <laughs> okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. Mm. Mm. A little bit of butter over this. Oh, oh, oh. Uh-huh. Mm. Hi. Oh, it's going to be so good. Put this under here. Just in case I missed any of the butter. Oh, that looks so good. Oh. Mm. Mm. Oh. Oh, look at that. <laughs> now you mix it all and you eat it. Mmm. 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 Oh dear. Oh, this is so good. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, one more thing. Before we go. I mean, after this, I'm just going to start eating. No, oh, start eating. I am eating. Mmm. 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 Now, we used to put crackers in this. But. Mmm. I need to eat with him. Mmm. I think it's a little bit of Vietnamese girl. Adorable little girl. Gosh, she's really smart. I know these are all women I'm talking about, but this is adorable little girl. She's so tiny. Mmm. Anyway. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. If you want to change what's going on in your own neighborhood, you got to vote. But you need to do it smart. Because just voting for governor and senator and president, all that's important. And there's something else important. And people are missing. The people that make the laws that govern your city. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so good. Mm. Oh, those, those are your county commissioners. The clerks, the sheriffs, the deputy department. Sometimes you vote for your new DA. Mm -hmm. Depending on your state. Do you know if you get to vote for your DA? No? Why not? And if you think your black brothers and sisters are being targeted... Vote for a new DA. Oh, and also, mm, sheriff's department. How many sheriffs do you have in your area that you drive in? I mean, the 
gummy. And that's good. Mmm. Let me wear it this way. In your driving radius, how many sheriffs are in your area that you could drive to? We have four. One per um, one for the city, and there's four quadrants in the there's four quadrants in the in the county. You have the main one for the county. You have also four, one for each of the quadrants. So, mm. Mm, 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 mm. Well, who's on your chambers of commerce? Do you know what they do? They're the ones that decide your budget, where the money goes. Did you know that? Who's on your committee? How many people are in your committee where you live? You know? You see, this is why, this is why you, you're, where you live at, if you want to make it better, that is where you start. You start there, and you will make immediate, immediate change. You know how fast you make change? The new change will begin on January 20, 2021. Mm-hmm. If you vote in November for your senator, your governor, your commissioner, your state representative, your congressperson, all these people, you will see an immediate change come 2021. Immediate. And I'm not just saying that to be cute. I'm saying that because I know what I'm talking about. I know <laughs> I got all this out. Uh, oh. I'm not placing a thing. Oh my God. Okay, now all I have is left is a little bit of juice. I want to eat that. I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. Uh, oh, dear God. I am so sorry. Oh, my God. Oh, this is my dinner. You <laughs> we just have dinner together. Yay! Oh, my God. I hope you enjoyed it. I so enjoyed it. And that's how you eat a Dungeness crab. I'm going to need you to do me a favor. Because we have a lot of new people here. Um, the people that have been with me for past two and a half years, three years. They already know what this channel is about. But in the past week, I've had 10 new people join. That is a record for me. Oh, dear God. I never thought people would be interested in watching me eat and talk politics and well, mainly eat. I like the eating part. <laughs> but I stopped talking politics because I seriously did not believe that I was making a difference anymore. But I see now that the events that happened this past week I really can give people hope again. You can change it. We can do this. Um, and what can you do currently? Okay. This is what we can do currently. Because right now, the, uh, sorry if you have headsets on. It's going to be a little noisy. 
Okay, the dad's quietly liquid. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. What's been happening in the news is like, I know I could be, be of some service. Uh, oh, yes. I used to do politics every week, if not twice a week. And then it was like a lot of noise and I got, let's say, overwhelmed. I got overwhelmed. This is like I'm repeating myself and my voice is getting lost in the sauce and no one's hearing the words I'm really trying to convey. But I think we're at a point where I can actually be of service to people. That I can actually tell people what they can do. I'm not here to say, oh, this is horrible. Oh my God, what? This is just, someone needs to stop it. No. You can do it. It's like stop, you know, stop saying, sitting around saying someone needs to stop it. Well, you can stop it yourself. Actually, you can stop it. Let's see, today's Friday. You can stop it Monday morning. I tell you that. <laughs> if everyone, you know, every family member, every friend, you know, if you go to church, have the whole church call. <laughs> but you call your senators and it has to be the senators especially the Republican ones. And you tell them, I will not vote for you if you keep backing this man. That's it. All they want is a win. That's all they want. And once they hear that the constituents don't want this to happen, they're gonna vote that way. It's just a matter of pushing enough pressure. And it can't just be one Republican, it has to be all of them. Even if they're not listening to you, like McConnell. Uh, but the fat or cottons, oh dear God. Oh, does he know what he just said? He just, oh. By saying what Cotton said, if he didn't know what he said, he need to read up the way he wrote in the paper as an op-ed, basically, He's telling Trump, you can have my job. Because once martial law takes effect, all the governors, the senators, they have no power. None. So by him saying that, he's like, yeah, I want to give up my power. I don't think your constituents is happy with that. But anyway. Um, well, oh, dang it, lost my train of thought. I get on banters. I just have so much information that wants to come out. It just bubbles out all at once. So anyway, uh, recent, like I said recently, I think I could be of some service of how we can actually organize and help. Uh, so you could actually call your representatives, especially the Republican ones, and we need to jump on them hard. We need, you need to badger your senators, the way New York City jumped up and down on their COVID curve and they flatten it out so much. And they, you know, New York jumped on that COVID curve so much they made it flatline. <laughs> now that's a working team, but that's what we need to do. I need to call my senators Monday and let it be known. You don't have to vote for them, honey. They just need to hear it. Okay. They just need to hear it. And if you call and everyone floods their minds, I think we can make it through. That's the way I know to do it. And the protesting, they ain't gonna stop. But because the people have no more fear. The fear is if I if I protest, I can get killed. If I don't protest, I'm going to get killed anyways. So there's no fear. The protests will go on. Um, unless martial law is taken. And that means we fall on the authoritarian rule. Uh, until that happens, we're going to fight tooth and nail to keep democracy alive. 
and go ahead, call your senators. Call them. Um, before I go, I must ask you a big, 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 big favor. Most likely, YouTube's not gonna like this video. It's long. And if you look at my history, I only made one long video. It was 40 minutes in my two and a half years of posting videos. So I like to keep it between 30, 20 and 30 minutes. I figure you have way more to do than listen to me, yeah, but it took me a while to eat my crabbies. <laughs> and during that, I just had a lot to tell you. So if you don't mind sharing it, so that everybody who needs to see it can see it. I don't know how to timestamp thing. Maybe I could. I don't do editing. Normally I just film and upload. So it's like a one hit wonder. Whatever you see here, whatever goes wrong, cat tips over the garbage, you're gonna hear it. Um so, if you don't mind, let's help get this word out. Even you can help. And everyone can do something. Whether it's calling, posting on your media. You know, if you could show up for a few minutes on the, on the protest line, that's fine too. If you don't want to do that, that's fine too. Me? I call a lot. I call a lot and I email to my hands a sore. Because that's the only thing I can do. So I do it. Anyway, I'm going to let you go. I do thank you so much for staying here with me this long. Oh my God, that was delicious. I hope you got a lot from this. I know we've been on here for almost an hour. So I want to thank you for your time. And as usual, we're going to hope for the best. We're going to prepare for the worst, and I guarantee you, we're going to get through this together. Bye.